Hi guys, the first stage of our BBA signature shave is the cleanser. The reasons why we use a cleanser before shave is to remove any dirt and debris and any perspiration from the skin. What we're going to use is the BBA cleanser. It's a clay-based cleanser that contains chamomile, which instantly soothes and calms the skin. To prepare our cleanser, what we've done is put a bit of water in our hand to create a lather. As you can see, it's a rich lather that we are going to apply with a prayer pose. So we're going to start in the middle of the chin, working up the nasal area, round the forehead and back round to the chin again. We're going to repeat this three or four times. As you work circular motions around the face. To remove our cleanser, we're going to use a flannel. And what is important about this phase of, of the shave is that we start to introduce hydration to the skin. Hydration is a key part of a, a close, comfortable shave. So this is a really important part of our ritual. The next phase of the BBA Signature Shave is using the facial wash as a scrub. What we are going to do is exfoliate around the cheek area and forehead and the T-zone. We are not going to exfoliate in the beard area because the beard area is what we're going to shave, which will naturally exfoliate with the method of shaving. So we're going to start using our facial wash as a scrub by starting with circular motions on the forehead, working round the temples and on the cheekbone, up through the nose and through to the forehead. We're going to continue this circular motion with very light strokes. The exfoliation process increases blood supply to the face and also stimulates the collagen building process. So we are now using our shave oil to massage our clients. What we are doing is creating an environment where our client is relaxed. And by using our oil over the face like this, it allows us to put hydration into the skin. Now, the BBA oil contains prickly pear seed oil, which is the, one of the most expensive beauty oils on the market. So you know that this product is really going to add a wonderful experience for your client. Now we're going to use our shave butter as an extra bit of um, cushion on the skin. The shave butter can be used as a standalone product. It's a non-lathering shave cream. Now with our shave butter, we're just going to apply this just over the area where we use some of the oil and the key areas around the chin and just over the mouth. The shave butter contains vitamin A and E, which again helps to promote healthy skin. Now we're going to apply a hot towel. We're just going to make sure the client get used to the feel of the hot towel. And then we place the towel over the face, allowing an area for our client to breathe. To apply our cream, we're going to put a bit of cream in the middle of the brush. Immerse the brush in water, warm water. That allows us to put enough hydration into the brush and transport that onto the skin. Using a brush at a circular motion helps to lift the bed hair, driving hydration into the skin. 
also, used in a brushless way, would also give us mild exfoliation. So what we are trying to do here is generate a warm, rich, protective lather. Our next phase is to apply a mask. What we're going to do is use the face wash as our mask. The face wash is a clay-based wash, which allows for impurities to be pulled from the skin. Also helping to put nutrients back into the skin because obviously shaving takes away a lot from the skin. So we're gonna use it neat on our hands. Then we're gonna apply to the forehead first of all, onto the cheek area and onto the beard and the face, uh, lower chin area. Plant up to the nose, nasal area, back onto the forehead. We're going to leave this mask on for a minute or two. So we're now applying our post-shave balm. Now the post-shave balm contains a powerful antioxidant. The antioxidant's name is called Dragon's Blood. It's again one of the most powerful uh, antioxidants there are for the skin. So what it's doing is ensuring that the skin is sufficiently protected after shaving. Our final phase is the moisturiser. And again, a very important part of the post-shave process. What we want to do is ensure that the skin is sufficiently uh, protected from the environmental stresses as our client walks out to make sure that the hydration levels are at its most. So we're going to apply a moisturiser onto our face all over the skin, including the beard area. Our signature shave is now complete. <laughs>